Hello class. I hope everybody is doing well and uh, enjoyed all of the exceptionally warm weather we just had. It is about to get cold. So I am here, I'm going to talk about project six and show you guys how to do some of those calculations if you had any questions. So the first question says to create a bar graph showing the diversity among the three sites. We were given data from a prairie in North Dakota and we're simply just looking to compare the different diversity indices among site A, B, and C. And the different diversity, uh, these are all the different plants that were found in those three sites, but not at all three of them, but at least one of the three. And the diversity indices we are looking at is uh, Shannon Wiener diversity, uh, composition, and similarity. So you were given these data here, and I, tr I went ahead and transferred the first row of data, but I uh, did not transfer the species names, so that would be first start, so I'm copying that, and I'll paste it over here. And as you can see, we have some extra cells, so I'm going to right click delete and shift cells up. Same here, delete, shift cells up. All right, and now we have our data looking good. So since the first question asks about diversity, let's go ahead and complete that. The first column, your diversity, you're calculating little n over big N. And if you go to the home page of our class, REM410, and click on Composition Diversity, this first presentation here, Lesson 1, uh, Plant Community Composition, it's the only thing that you are assigned to read for this class. Um, well, no, sorry, the only thing in soft chalk that you are assigned to read. There was another paper. And um, scroll down and find the calculation for the Shannon Wiener Index, and it's right here. So it states that little ni is the number of individuals or the amount present of each species. So if we're in this, we'll say that equals, there were five. And big N is the total number of individuals for the site. So actually what we need to do is get a sum here, equals sum of all these guys. And we can copy and paste that over in these uh, next few places where we know we'll need sums. And we're going to just make sure that we're adding the right data. And yep, it's going to be everything from that column. Excellent. So it's that divided by this value. And to make this value stick, we're going to add some dollar signs. And I've done that in a video in the past as well. And drag that bad boy down. Let's see what happens. We'll copy the, well, I'll just show you how to calculate it for one and then you can finish the calculations for the rest, actually. All right, so the next formula is to get the log natural of this value. Uh, and I did put it up there in there for you. So let's see, equals ln is the formula and you, it's the function and you can just Google that. How do I calculate the log natural in Excel? And that'll show up. So it's the log natural of that guy, and done. And scroll that bad boy down, and the final one asks you to multiply them together. Oh, and uh, taking the log natural of zero is an unreal number, so let's turn it into a zero in terms of the way the formulas work. It won't affect um, the outcome.
you could just as well ignore those. Alrighty, and the final one is to multiply them together. So equals this times that. And scroll that bad boy down. The Shannon Wiener index is the absolute value of the sum of all of these, which is what this means here. So this is the formula there. This sign means the sum. So the Shannon Wiener index is the sum of those. And here it is, kind of worked out for you in the same way. And so we just take the absolute value of that and done. Okay, so now let's make a table. Here's the finished data. Just did the same thing the rest of the sites. I actually had connected these um, to the totals so that when you finished you'd have this nice little setup to make your table already ready for you. So let's highlight it. Insert. Uh, probably is going to give us a great recommendation and sure enough it did. If you don't have that feature in your Excel you go to bar graphs and just a cluster column. Do the same thing for you. So that's one way and again uh, you gotta label your axes. So axis title primary vertical axis and there aren't units in um these are all indices um index um another way to interpret that is it's it's an indicator um to avoid getting into the mathematical definition of an index so it, let's let's just put shannon uh wiener index and that's all we need. Um, this graph is ready to go, except for a caption. And titles aren't necessary. So it's a little bit redundant. Also, I might make these words a little larger. Next question asks you to report those values. So that's pretty simple. Next is to calculate composition. So you're asked to calculate composition. So again, let's go to um, our assigned readings. This is where we have the diversity information. And uh, we're doing relative density, which is number of species divided by total individuals. And composition is always reported as a percent. So this is a relatively easy comp calculation. Uh, no pun intended, being that it's relative density. So Site number, site A has five specimens of blue gramma ga grass. Site B has 25 and site C has 35. Um, again, these were the data that you were given originally to use. So site A, we're gonna say it equals this guy divided by the total number of specimens in site A. Oops, so that's not it. <laughs> equals this guy divided by this guy. And we want that second value to stay the same as we drag. So again, let's get our dollar signs in there. And drag her down, check our work, all good. So we're referring to that divided by that. And we can't exactly, oh, can we? Nope. Kept the wrong. Okay, so we want to change that to the E and now drag that guy down. And we want to change that one to be E and drag that guy down. And in your you're asked uh, in your assignment or your project, you're asked what's the composition of buffalo grass. So we can see here that the composition is 46, 10.2, and 11.7% for sites A, B, and C. Uh, scarlet prairie flower, uh, whoops. So I accepted, obviously there is no scarlet prairie cone flower, but I accepted answers for both scarlet glow mallow and prairie cone flower. All right. And next, create a bar graph of similarity among three pairwise comparisons. So I let you know what those three are in the next question. What is the 
the similarity between A, B, and C. Alrighty, so uh, you want to, the first one, oh, well, the first thing we should do, just like we've done the last few, let's go find our formula for similarity, diversity, Shannon Wiener, Shannon Wiener, Simpson, similarity, Chekhanowski. Oh, I gave you the formula. How convenient. So uh, it always looks a little bit weird. You got to kind of put it together, but um, the minimum, you want to get the minimum value of, so X and Y, sorry, let's go with that. Xi and Yi are the abundance of species I. So again, we're comparing only two species. So X refers to the abundance of species of blue gramma in site A, and Y refers to the abundance in site B, if you're talking about this column. If you're talking about column B, Xi and Yi refer to, now Xi is, is site B and Y is site C. So it's just these numbers. So X, X1 is 5, let's go back to this one, X1 is 5, X2 is 40, X3 is 12, etc, etc, etc. And this numerator is asking, for this final uh, Chekhanowski coefficient, the numerator is asking for two times the minimum of those values. So let's start with the numerator first. So we want the minimum equals min, and again you can Google that, uh, minimum of these two values and drag her down and now it has pulled out the minimum of each of those values. We want the sum of that. Oops. Sum of the minimum values. So now we have everything after the two. We have the sum of those minimum values ready. And here, when we calculate the Cheskanowski, we'll multiply it times 2. <clears throat> the denominator is the sum of these xi plus the sum of these yi. So let's go ahead and enter it into here. Cheskanowski equals, let's start a parenthesis for the numerator, 2 times this. So we already have the minimum. And then we'll divide it by this guy plus this guy. And it looks like I forgot parentheses here. So if your number just doesn't make sense because we read that the Chekhanowski is like between 1.5 and 3 or something. So that number made no sense. So redid it and got this value. So you'll want to repeat that process for sites B to C and A to C. And your final results, you'll come up with these three values <clears throat> if you've done your calculation properly and you can transfer them over here to our differences and let's make a table. Uh, I also had that set up for you but didn't have it referencing these cells. So, uh, insert, and all of them, I like that one, doesn't matter, the, uh, if you do the upright or to the side, we still have to make sure that we have a label on that axis that did not show up labeled, and <clears throat> we know that to be Shekinowski. coefficient. All right, you make those bigger, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. Make sure you have a caption. And that's everything for project two. Enjoy the rest of your day.